Okay there, let's do the Wella Man from um, the Sea Shanty. Um, let's see, I'm going to play it quick to just kind of get into the groove here. Notch it down a little bit here to make it nice and easy. We don't have to do the octaves. We're just going to do the C and the fifth. So open uh, like the C, G, C, G, F, F, C. Okay, it looks like this. Um, that the first part is the verse, C minor, that's your one chord. And then you go to F minor, that's your four chord. And that's the first verse. And so here's your one chord. La do re one chord. La re fa four chord one chord. And so you can kind of um, play this a little bit in the C shanty mood. So you alternate a little bit. So you play a left first, left right, left right, left right, left. Let's sing while we're doing this, which means the first word is an upbeat, so we're not going to play anything. We're just going to sing there, and then on a word once, that's when we're going to come in with our left hand. I'm going to be really slow. There once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Do that again. We'll do it really slow. All right. There once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Willie I T. The winds blow hard, the bow bend down. Blow, oh, Billy boys, blow. Ho. Okay, so we just did the first part right here. The verse and that comes up every time we play the verse which you have seen there's lots of verses so you can do that now play it feel comfortable and once you know that one really well then you'll kind of have already the feel of how the song is going and you have it in your muscle muscle memory and we're gonna move on to chorus okay chorus is I'm gonna just gonna play it one day when tonguing is done. No, that's the second part. <laughs> Sorry. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when tonguing is done, you take your leave and go. Oh. Okay, what did I do here? Let's take it down, take it apart. I'm going to A flat major, E flat major, and then back to these familiar ones, F minor, C minor. Let's look at A flat major. A flat major is your sixth scale degree, and it's going to be a major chord. We are in the minor scale, which means the sixth scale degree, Roman numeral six, is major. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, 
right? La ti do re mi fa. That's gonna be our sixth chord, and that's an A flat. So A flat, here we go. That's your A flat major chord, if you see it, barely. But we're gonna actually now play this, um, the fifth of that A major up here, because it doesn't sound good. We're gonna move this one up here. And when you, every time you do that, meaning you scramble up your chord tones, you call that an inversion. And this is actually a second inversion because we're taking the highest note there and putting it on the bottom. Everything else will stay. We have still the first and the, the third and the fifth goes here. That's gonna be soon Right? And what do I do with the left hand? I'll just play A, A flat major. Just that, just play that one. Let's see what finger would that be if you're going you have to go to E flat play it with your thumb but you figure out to which one is better the best I'm gonna play it up here first okay so that's A flat major now on Wella man we're switching chords to E flat major which is see can you hear it is a major chord in the C minor scale. We are la ti do because we're following the key signature of the C, ma C minor, which means there's an B flat and an E flat, and that and the G that is natural, and that automatically makes a major chord, and it sounds great too. Therefore. Roman normal third in uppercase, right? Okay, where were we? Okay, so I'm coming from A flat to E flat. Really simple. Maybe you do third finger here. Soon may the willow man come. And by the way, this movement here is very familiar. It's like going from one chord to four chord, only we're doing the reverse. We're going from four from the four chord kind of um, position that we're used to back here. So all what you do is slide the third finger down to G and put your pinky on B flat. It's like do me so, do follow. Okay. I think that makes sense. So starting on A flat. I mean, I added this because it's fun. You can do that. And then what comes next? Can you check? Na, 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 na. F minor, which is my minor six. Is, has a different ending it makes it even better so that is when when we sing about the tonguing so and C, G. It's a G chord. How can you see that? Well, I'm playing here D, which is the fifth. Here's your, 
here's your G chord. Do mi so. Or do mi so. So now I put the B flat on the bottom, the fifth on the second, and the G on the top. Still, it's just a scrambled up five chord or G chord. It just sounds great. And it's right there in my hands instead of jumping here. I'm just playing an inversion. In this case, um, it's a second inversion. No, it's a first inversion, sorry, because the B is on the bottom. So if you write that down quick, I'm going to be done here. I don't know lose your patience probably so second row one day when tonguing is done we'll take or now comes the G leave you can make it a seven and go in order to make it a seven chord, all what you need to do is um, add the F, which is the seventh scale degree for the G major scale. That's why it's called seven. Take a leave and go. Okay. Um, so here we go. Let's do the chorus nice and slow from the top. So stronger soon will the woman come to bring the sugar and tea and rum one day when tonguing is done you take your leaf and go okay there once was a ship that put to sea and the name of the ship was the willy it the winds blow Have fun and let me know if you have questions.